All right, welcome back. So here we are at 3458 or thereabouts. And we're going to clip this at eight meters and just kind of cast anywhere sort of over in that direction. And uh, I've been talking about doing this and we are finally going to do it. Uh, we'll put tinch ground bait on both. I'm trying to think what we want here on this second one. Maybe an eight. I've seen some people go as low as 10. What we're trying to do here is maybe catch a couple of tench. Oh wait, where's our eight? Our eight must be on the other line. So we'll do 10 on this one for now and just see how it goes. I'm gonna start off with night crawlers on this one. The other two will have cheese. Uh, again, we're going to clip eight for the for the eels. We want to be just kind of as close to the shore here as possible. A little farther to the right for the eel, maybe. Is this an eight? Yeah, this is an eight. So we're going to put cheese on this one as well. Our tinch mix, and we'll go a little farther, sort of straight out. I don't feel like you have to be as close with the tinch to the shore. So let's see what we can get going. The other exciting uh, news is, as you know, we've been leveling baits like crazy as well as ground bait. And so with ground bait, we got to the next level. Let me show us where we are on ground bait. So we hit 15%, which, which means now we can use these second level components. So next time we make tinch mix, or what we're calling fake tinch mix, we can actually put cheese in there. We know that tinch like cheese a lot. And so that could be a good option. The other thing you may notice on this is we can use pearl barley now instead of crackers or semolina as our mixture. And so that means our bream, fake bream mix is going to change as well. If you look at ground baits and you go down to bream mix, we now can do everything except for the niece oil. So we've kind of got some exciting developments with ground bait. Let's do some fake bream. So all of our fake bream mix now can use pearl barley with maggots and millet porridge still. And for now, we'll still use the sunflower oil. So we're not going to be fishing for bream in this video, I don't think. But my hope is that we'll catch a couple tench. And then I would like to get lucky and be able to show you all an eel uh, from this spot now that we've basically finally found some eel. Again, if you're just wanting to level up ground bait as quickly as and inexpensively as possible, just use the base. All you got to do is add a mixture. The highest level mixture you can add should level you up pretty quickly. Leveling up ground bait is not as painful as leveling up some of the other ones like harvesting bait in terms of how expensive and long it gets the higher level you are. So there's a bunch of new fake bream mix we can now do. And... The other thing is we can now, let's look at our harvesting baits. We're now up to 29.4%, which means we're awfully close to being able to make semolina, which is nice. Um, I think we're going to make some sweet dough. We've got enough ingredients to make 10 sweet dough and 10 wheat grains and kind of see where that puts us. Um, between sweet dough and wheat grains, I would say you probably want to make more sweet dough, although the, the sweet dough ingredients cost more than the wheat than the uh, wheat grains because the wheat flour and milk aren't too bad, but everything adds up, and then sugar is a little expensive. So it's fairly expensive to make sweet dough. And then keep shoveling in case you get a random point on shoveling as well. I feel like we're at the place now where the points aren't coming as often, but they are still coming some, which is really nice. All right, so this is on night crawlers. Let's see what we caught on night crawlers. Looks like it's a big old crucian. Let's make sure that ground bait's still on there. It is. 
we are getting the bites right now. The thing you have to be, be aware of in this spot is that, there's a tench, is that we will occasionally catch grass carp. And that can be on either the cheese or the night crawlers. So just be prepared for that. You can have some really um, difficult fights with fish, even potentially get spooled or have something break if you hook into the wrong grass carp. So just kind of be aware of that. And around 20 to 2100 or so, we'll f switch to all three being night crawlers and see if we can't catch an eel. There we go. That feels like a marker tinch to me. Those tinch aren't worth as much silver or experience as the ones that are a little bigger, but they are also not as difficult to get in. Okay. I believe what we have here is a grass carp. And it's weird. Right now, I feel like grass carp are maybe biting on the uh, night crawlers more than the cheese. So if you want to try to avoid this, then until it gets to really late at night, maybe keep night crawlers out of the water. We'll just see if we can slow this fella down. Looks like right now he is just sort of running as he pleases. If he gets under that bridge, we may or may not ever be able to stop him. I don't know if the bridge is stopping him. That's what it kind of seems like, is that he's so far unwilling to swim under the bridge. Which, if that's the case, that is nice. It's starting to move a little bit. I think we're going to get this grassy in. And that is indeed what it is. We will try to bring him all the way back down to here. And that's not even a big one. So that's 3.4. The largest one I've caught on this account is a 9 kilo, which was just a long, really annoying <laughs> struggle. But it does seem like at least sometimes that... Um, it does seem like sometimes that bridge slows them down, which is... Interesting. I don't remember that always being the case, but he certainly could have kept running if he wanted to.
we can now make semolina as we hit over 30% on back on ground bait. See if we caught another decent tinch here. Whoa, friction break way too high. I'm gonna just completely wreck my stuff here. And we're close to putting night crawlers out, but after that grass carp, I don't want to put them out too quick. This will be a nice tinch. Very nice. All right, so let's finish making our sweet dough. Still getting points for shoveling. That must have been boosted some. I, I do not remember getting points this often at this high level on the harvesting baits. And then we also have 10 wheat grains we can make before we even get to making a few semolina. And after this fish, I suppose we will start getting brave on putting... Uh, so you'll notice we haven't caught very many tench on the size six hook, so it may just be too too high of a hook size, I don't know. Lowering the bite rate a little bit. Now we've got possibly three fish on. <laughs> This is also our strongest rig by far. I mean, we're pulling it like 10 kilos of force on this rig compared to the other ones. All right, so let's put some kind of generic ground bait. And let's go to night crawlers. Again, we're gonna sort of aim a little more right here a little bit closer to shore and this is where we want to get lucky let's see if we can't find those um whoa let's see if we can't find those eel is that a bream on oh, cheese somebody was just talking about that in chat how the bream are now eating cheese in this spot very strange I've yet to try cheese at the bream spot can't imagine that it would be good enough in terms of uh, bite rate but you know who knows so the only thing we don't have night crawlers on is the middle rod and that's only because it's been Head banging with a hopefully a tinch here for a while. So not bad. We ended up with five marker tinch in a pretty short amount of time there. Now can we get lucky on the eel? I 
I'm also on my main account still testing this uh, spot at Mosquito. Just sort of trying out different things. Uh, if you saw the last video, it is just a, uh, a trophy trophy lottery over there at 3549 at Mosquito. I'm really amazed at how long this has kept up. We did spend a good bit of silver. We're down to 376. All of that was spent on either ground bait or uh, baits to level up our bait harvesting. All right, finally. This might be another nice tinch. It also could be a carp of some sort. I mean, it took forever to get on there. Yeah, that is a grass. They do like the, uh, the cheese as well sometimes. All right, so let's go ahead and switch this to night crawlers, switch this to our regular ground bait, just something really non-offensive. It's just like, um, should just be like crackers. Let's get the details on this. Crackers, maggots, and sunflower oil. Doesn't seem to bother the eels. You could uh, you could try going for eels without ground bait at all. That might work better. Just to show you that this spot is still working. There's a uh, another nice trophy sleeper there. What happened to all our bites? Uh-oh, fish got away. All right, uh, let's see. Was it this one? Hold on. Oh, this is this one. That's not very nice. Hope that wasn't our eel. That would be sad. I guess I gotta watch the lines a little more closely. It may have been an eel, and uh, if something's on there, we gotta grab it. Whew, goodness, guys. Tell you what, these fat gibble carps scare me every time. It feels like a truck is on there for a second. So if you see in chat, we just caught a 2.2 trophy gibble on our main account. All right, so let's watch it this time. Yeah, I think there's already a fish on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and see. Come on, be it, be it. It's not it. It's not, it's not the eel that you're looking for. It was not the eel that we were looking for. All right, so we can now start making a few wheat seeds. We'll make them five at a time. It's also gonna look at the new baits that we've made, see what they're saying in the description. It's always worth reading them. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily what they're gonna work for right now as the bait preferences do change for the fish, especially from lake to lake but it's something that you can always sort of use as a starting point on trying. So the wheat seeds, I think they mentioned bream. Yeah, and I've caught bream on wheat seeds before, carp and many others. It looks like this is sort of an all around bait. Roach, bleak, bream, carp, and many other. So that's your wheat seeds. What else have we made recently? The sweet dough. 
Sweet Doe has been a good bait at times in this game. Um, it doesn't look like it really says. Oh, it's a bait designed for carp. Bait designed for carp. So be careful with that one. All right. Did we finally catch our eel? Negatory. We got another gibble. What are the gibbles doing eating all of my uh, night crawlers here right now? I remember on my main account, I sort of did the same thing where I, uh, I was leveling up um, bait harvesting as quickly as possible. And I remember when I unlocked Semolina, I used it a lot here at Oldberg and it worked really well back then. I think it still works pretty well. Um, I would use Semolina down there off that bridge into the pond area and would catch just really nice sizes of gibbles and crucians and lots of other fish species down there off the semolina. So, all right, that's all the wheat seeds we can make. Whoa. This could be it. Could be our eel. I think it is. And it's a marker just over a kilo so what you want to see here is the xp 2200 xp for a one kilo eel it's very nice and that's a fairly small one and it's already a ton of xp and you'll also see when we go to sell it that it sells for a decent amount of silver as well whoa please be an eel We'll know it's an eel if it stops fighting here in just a second. I'd say there's a pretty good chance. Do you see how it just died? I think we might have a good eel here. Nope, I'm wrong. Looks like it's a crucian. Or a bream, sorry. I don't know what it is. Maybe that'll be our eel. Another eel. I don't know why the bream have moved into this little spot, but they have. It's confusing me. Well, at least we caught one. If nothing else, we have gotten the one eel. I think that's our third eel on this account. But I, it was it was off episode when I caught the last two. It was when I was trying to search around and find them. All right, so. Catch it. Let's do it. Mm, not quite yet. I don't know. I think eel get on there pretty quick. If it doesn't do anything else for a minute, we'll t check it. It is raining at Mosquito, and it has been a much slower night of fishing on the main account with the rain. We still had a couple trophies, but it's not been as steady as it normally is. About three days in in-game days from now, though, it's going to be lower temps and rain-free, at least according to the forecast. And if that's the case, that'll probably be a really nice day to catch some trophies at Mosquito. Uh, I'm just thinking this size six hook is too big. Maybe we have not had the activity on that one that we have the other two. Let's go ahead and switch that really quick. Uh, we don't have another eight, so let's just go to 10. 
that's fine. That is fine. There we go. Not an eel. A middle of the night tinch. I think theoretically you can still catch the eel. I think you can catch them all day. It's just very, very rare. Most of mine seem to come like between midnight and 2 a.m. or something like that. We'll give it another couple minutes before we wrap this video up though. We can see what they we, we made. So, oh yeah, let's go ahead and make at least one thing of uh, semolina. I did go ahead and buy the ingredients, 10 stacks of each. So we can look at it in our inventory. Targeting bream, white bream, carp, roach, etc. I don't think I've ever seen semolina work especially well targeting bream. Um, at least that I remember. But as a general bait, it seems to work pretty nice. It, it feels like it's kind of up there with bread in terms of just typically having a really good bite rate in a spot that has plenty of crucians and gibbles and other stuff like that in there. I do feel like some of these baits, you do start to get into more of a risk of hooking into larger carp which as long as you've been upgrading your gear appropriately is not too bad. In fact, it can be good, but it is something to be aware of. Let you know we're still alive over here. That mosquito still doing things. Okay, not much longer. I don't want to get into nasty grass carp here. Maybe just one eel this night. The other thing, I think it was Carlos Silva was telling me that the 6.5 hole here has been a decent place for burbot. So I'd like to try that sometime on the uh, night crawlers. That is what is really nice when you get down to 50%, you can make pieces of fish.
We could also try going for the eel without ground bait at all. We may catch more of them without ground bait. I don't know. All right, we'll see what this is. All right, let's uh, sell these fish. We'll double check the lines right before we, ooh, someone just caught a 5.8 kilo eel. Nice. Some interesting cafe orders, nothing for us though. So that eel is almost 10 silver for a one kilo. It goes up a lot as you get a little bigger too. But pretty nice, 71 silver for uh, basically just some night fishing. Definitely will take that. And unless something's going on down here on the rods, we're gonna wrap it up. I don't know what we'll do next episode. We could do this again. Also could go back and check the bream spot again. We have uh, all that new bream mix. It'd be nice to test that ground bait out. But uh, as always, thanks for watching and I will look forward to seeing you next time.